Hi, I'm Dr. Nikki Gonzalez from Balanced Physical Therapy, and we're going to talk today, uh, continuing with our strength and conditioning series, talking today about our load and repetitions. Remember, this is for developing a program design on your own. So the first thing you should know is that load and reps are inversely related. So as one increases, the other is subsequently going to decrease. So if I'm wanting to work uh, high repetitions or a high volume, we might say, we would expect that it's going to be a lot more difficult to do that with a high load. So the load is going to decrease. And vice versa, if we're going to be doing a heavy load, we're probably not going to be able to do as many repetitions. So that's the first thing we need to know, is that it's inversely related. So the next thing we're going to look at is how do we decide what percentage we're working at, at a certain load. So we can do that by estimating our repetition maximum. So you may have heard uh, from weightlifting, the one repetition max. So this is how we can use that number to actually work towards our design. So if we take our one repetition max, that means we try and attempt to, to do the exercise one time and successfully complete it, but are unable to do it a second time. So why does that number matter? So if I know that I can do five repetitions at a certain weight, I know that that is 87% of my one repetition max. So using a repetition maximum, like a five repetition max, is something that we can use and you can be able to understand uh, at home. So let's look at our training goals. So if our goal is to improve our strength, it's going to have different load and repetition maximums that we are going to be working through. Maybe our goal is power, and maybe our goal is hypertrophy or endurance. So let's take a look at these individually. So strength, we're going to be working at a high load, so a heavier weight. Subsequently, of course, we're going to be doing less repetitions. So power is looking at the amount of load that we can do quickly. So how does this translate to um, everyday life? If you are a golfer or, or a baseball player, being able to move quickly is important, right? So we want to train power. So that's going to be at a relatively high load for low repetitions, focusing on moving fast. Next, we're look, going to be looking at hypertrophy, which is going to be a pretty low load but as you can see, the repetitions are starting to rise. And then endurance is something that we need for being able to withstand activity for a prolonged period of time. That's going to be a very low load, but we're going to be doing it lots of times. So using these parameters as guidelines, you can develop a training program on your own at home. If you found any of this information helpful, uh, please visit us on our website as well as our Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook and uh, check in for more on this series of strength and conditioning. Thank you.